got a clip it to my shirt here. Clip this mic or else I can't listen to myself. Hello, hello. Uh, you guys can't see it. It's freaking, I don't know what mic is called. I think it's Lavalier. Lavalier. Ladies and gentlemen, Ayumu san is getting an anime next year. Now, I didn't think that it was the one who drew Takagi san that was drawing this manga. Yeah, I can see why it looks the same. I mean, the art style. But I was thinking, like, you know, like the One Piece and Fairy Tale situation, right? Where the, both of the mangakas came from the same school. That's why their art style was similar. Well, well, it just turns out they're both the same author. For those people saying it has similar art to Takagi-san, of course it is because it's their child and the appearance is resemble the mother, but the personality resemble the father. Mm, no, that's the other one, not this one. The author actually draw the grown-up Takagi-san in their in his other manga. I'm gonna show you later. I'm gonna show you later. For real though, I didn't think they would be the same author. I mean, look at all the stuff he or she draws. If you got two, if you have two of your animes, I mean, two of your mangas becoming anime, I think you're pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. Yeah, this one's the one that they all grow, grown up. I can't bring myself to read everything, man, because there's too much diabetes. These guys. This guy is basically a bakery, you know. He's been giving cake every week. Okay, so what's Ayumu san about? It's basically the chess romance. It's a romance manga about chess. Yeah, it's basically Charles Magnuson and who's that Japanese guy called again? Japanese chess master. Yeah, Hikaru. It's Charles Magnuson and Hikaru. In one of them was a girl. And I haven't caught up to the whole manga, but I think I read until halfway through. Well, yeah, just now the comment actually had some truth in it, but not, not really. <laughs> yeah, if you were compare this to Takagi-san, yeah, basically the roles are reversed. The girls like the boy and the boys like the girl in Takagi-san. If I remember correctly, both of their names have something to do with the chess pieces. Ayumu, like, yeah, I know the Chinese words for this. It means something like i think it's the rook rook you know the the smallest chess piece in the board and i think the guy's name is tetsuya or tatsuya or something don't quote me on that i think i forgot about it. too many ma romance mangas to read anyway this is the this is a youtube channel about romance mangas if you like any of the if you like to like any romance manga you can subscribe korean chinese or japanese oh wait i wanted to go back and talk about one of the other mangas i mean like most of them uh i've read some of them this one's a notable one this one's like this one was a pretty bad failure for me i think uh you win some you lose some it, this one was sort of like uh a brother sister romance which was like yes yeah yeah i can't say the word that i want on youtube the i word and ends with t <laughs> and then there's like another girl so this one is sort of like a harem but maybe not there's only two girls from what i remember it wasn't that good it was like a typical harem manga actually maybe that's why i didn't get the anime from over this if i were to describe the story from what i've read that's basically yeah, there's basically a chess tournament up every every chapter. So the girl, I I think it's no Ayumu. Oh wait, the guy's name is Ayumu. Wait, what? Oh well, my bad then. I think the girl was called Senpai until the behind of the manga. You never really know her name until behind. It's sort of like Nagatoro. They keep calling the guy Senpai Senpai. You don't, you don't really know the Senpai's name. Now the important question is, does this Manga teach you about shogi, which is like Japanese chess. Not really, I don't learn any shogi from this. The whole concept is probably like Love is War, you could say. They are playing a chess, it's like mind games between the girl and the boy. The, they are getting each other to confess and shit. No, I think the, the girl's getting the boy to confess. And your boy here is immune to any Sundere X. He's He's a straight, straight boy. He he counters all the sundares. He just says what's on his mind. 
that's completely broken actually. This meta is completely in favor of the male character, which results in so many pages that are like this. Now, I'm not really sure what her hair. I don't think this is what her hair color is supposed to be. Wait, wait, wait. I just saw the freaking thing. Her hair colors like this. Oh yeah, I think the boys, the boy was like in a gym club or something. One of those sports clubs, and then he purposely came to her to help her join the chess club and the chess club means at least two or three people to become a chess club oh yeah there was a side couple the side couple I, I'll try to find him basically the side couple is uh, one one chat and one hypnosis girl yeah she, hypnosis, she hypnotizes this kind of funny side couple but in this case, the side couple doesn't overpower the main couple that much. Yeah, I can't wait for the anime next year. These past two years has been a revelation for me. So many of the romance mangas I've read came to become anime. Although they were quite popular at the time already. Like Love is War, The, the Cow Takes, Takagi-san, The Nagatoro. And my prediction next year. Anjo-san has to come out man It has to be next year Because every year there's one teasing girl I just it, There's only two other Mangas that are like those Mangas that, that I know of Yeah it has to be Anjo-san Coming next year man It has to be She has to be. And Anjo-san is also like Love is War Like the one of the side couples I find more interesting Than the main couple I mean they're almost just as interesting you No know, there's almost like similar Things to Nagatoro with Ayumu-san Except it's like backwards. Yeah, in Nagatoro, Nagatoro is the one that practices judo. Or it's the boy here that practices judo, which is I think is yeah the dominant one in the relationship is the one doing the gyms. Oh yeah, I forgot to say like yeah this this universe is definitely in the same universe as Takagi-san. I think they are even in the same school. I know the author likes to draw some Easter eggs once in a while. I bet if you search online, there would be some pictures of the easter eggs like when they are walking in school and, and then suddenly one of the side characters come out behind so yeah i really hope i have high hopes for the anime coming out with next year i make a reaction video you know youtube likes this shit maybe manga reader reacts to ayumu-san anime shit this one belongs in the diabetes basket along with takagi-san oh i i can't Oh. I'm just so happy like the anime industry is doing so well right now there's like a good romance manga becoming an anime like once I mean like at least three times a year I think every almost every season there's one good romance manga that I've read that came out like even Horimiya like damn but for this manga I think if you know how to play Shogi you probably will enjoy this even more I'm not sure about that but maybe it will help you like there was one romance there was one romance manga about ramen or something or, or something about food but they somehow managed to like 50 50 the food and the and the romance that was quite amazing maybe i'll share it next time thank you all your king says good night